Pal, my name is Marcus Conti, former sanitation enforcement agent for the city of New York, sole plaintiff in Conti vs. DSNY. Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. <laughs> so, um, so I always said, right, so Conti vs. DSNY, the, what was the outcome of that? I fought them tooth and nail. I fought them all the way up the ladder. I tried to talk the uh, talk some sense into the, the, the locals, the, the uh, foot soldiers to rebel against being forced to write a quota. And what happened? It got buried in the, in the bowels of the courts. Uh, sanitation, G Commissioner Garcia and, the, and, and, and Slimy Burke uh, got away with, you know, breaking the law. So I always said that if you don't, if you don't hold them, if you don't hold them to task, right, if you don't prosecute, if you don't investigate, then the, the quota will just bounce back and continue on and people will continue to get uh, run over with tickets being made into ATM machines, right? So here we go again. So I was out, I'm out walking around yesterday and uh, I, right, the, the building right next to me gets ticketed, right, for what you're going to see. I don't want to give too much away. I have the video. It's, it's very, very, it's very, very clear what's going on. And uh, I'm going to explain it after I watch the video, but I want to play the video in its entirety so that everyone has a chance to see what I saw and you can make up your own mind before I uh, evaluate it. So again, it's, this is just proof, right? That if you don't stop the corruption, right? Here's a, here's a, you're going to see a worker. You're going to see a sanitation enforcement agent jump out of the car, right? She's going to run right to the door and smack a fake ticket on the door. Right. And get back in the car and try to explain a way out of it and pull away. Right. And she also recognizes me. She says, oh, you're that agent. I see on the news. <laughs> watch this shit is the shit. You can't make this shit up. So let's watch the video and I'll come back. Peace. Ah, what's the ticket for? How you doing? What's the ticket for? I noticed she didn't get out of the car. I've been around the block. I went down the shade because uh. I don't have air conditioning. Well, I noticed you didn't get out of the car. You just got out of the car to take the to write the ticket. I wrote the ticket down there. Oh, uh, Miss Long. Came back around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's not you what I observed. The, uh, you the uh, patroller, the guy that they have on the news, right? Yeah, yeah. I got gotcha. you. You always following us. You must have something to get, sanitation. I got gotcha. you. Wow, got gotcha. you. Ooh, sanitation ticket. Wow. Loose rubbish. Aha. Look at that. It's a loose rubbish thing. 183 Galston Avenue. I did observe 40, 40 wood metal rods out for collection, not securely bundled and not tied, likely to be scattered on the curb. Oh, haunted house. Pow. What's her name? Rodriguez. Long. Long Rodriguez. KKE. KKEA. Ooh. All right, let's go take a look at the loose rubbish. Wow, I got him. Ha, ha, ha. Loose rubbish. This is what we're looking at. Ooh. Some loose rubbish. Let's see, let's see, let's see. There's some wood. Let's see what's got here. Ah, I got a ticket. They're still on the block. Ah, she's gone. So, we got some wood. Pieces of wood. Those are tied right there. See that? That's tied. Let me go back inside one second. Did observe 40 wood metal rods out for collection, not securely bundled, not tied, and likely to be scattered on the curb. Likely to be scattered on the curb. How is it likely that that heavy wood would be scattered on the curb? 
There's no wind. There's no wind today. No wind today. So that was an interesting that was an interesting exchange, right? So I caught them. I, I want to do. I'll do a little research, a little more research on that. That was just a, a, a uh, surprise that I caught the woman jump out of the car. The biggest part of that is you notice that she came down the block, and she never, she never. Uh, we, I didn't see her get out of the car. I was supposed to get out of the car, write the ticket, ring, ring the bell. Door is open. See, door is open. You notice that the door is open. Right? She never rang no bell. She just stuck that ticket on the door and ran out the door. Pow. Excuse me. Marcus Conti reporter. So there was a lot of misspeaking in there on my part because I again it caught me off guard, right? It was it was loose rubbish, right? So so um so I kept saying that, oh, you, you just got out of the you got out of the car to write the ticket. But what I was trying to say is that she knows that see the procedure is that you're supposed to get out of the car, walk over to the to the to the violation, then go ring the bell, and then if there's no answer, you're supposed to write the ticket in front of the rubbish, right? And then walk over and post the ticket, right? Now whether she whether she rang that bell or not earlier is is uh, what my observation was is that the car she drove down the block. You don't see that in the video because I was stumbling to get my camera out of my out of my out of my pocket, right? And she rolls down. You you notice that the door she left the door open, right? And she got out and she she I was by the pile of garbage and she walked in and she wasn't even in there a second. She slapped the ticket on the door and ran out the door, right? So. But that's secondary. That's just a violation of rules. Like she's supposed to inform the client. She clearly didn't do that, right? Or if the guy didn't answer the bell, whatever. But the big part is that that's what we'll talk about now, right? So the, the big thing is that she wrote the ticket for what's called loose rubbish, right? All right so what is loose rubbish, right? There's a lot of j gibberish going on here, loose rubbish. I, I went to um, to the uh, U.S. government assets, the, the SC. DSNY downloads. The link is down below, right? This is the actual rules and regulations. And what is loose rubbish according to the DSNY? It's on the ticket. The ticket says uh, 16-120D, fine $100 or $300, maximum $300, right? So loose rubbish. Light refuge, light refuge or rubbish, which is likely to be blown or scattered about the street, shall be securely bundled, tied, or packaged before being placed out for collection, right? Now, that is not what we saw. What did we see? We saw, we saw a, a bulk garbage basically waiting for collection. We saw a futon mattress. We saw a couple of big pieces of wood, right? We didn't. It, it doesn't match the description of what we saw, right? Light refuge, willing to blow out. They usually write that one for um, for for cardboard boxes that have to be tied. But when it's heavy wood and things that are, are, are heavy, as long as it's neatly stacked in a waiting pickup, that's that's fair game. So there was definitely I got the ticket right. I'm looking at the ticket right here. So the ticket says I did observe forty wood metal rods out for collection, not securely bundled, not tied and likely to be scattered on the street. That's clearly not what, what, what it was. There was a bed, there was a futon, there was, there was a, a chair, there was big stacks of wood. And, and the, the little bit of wood that would have scattered was clearly taped. You saw duct tape around that little pile. So that wasn't, that wasn't any violation. What that was is, 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 is garbage awaiting pickup from bulk, right? There's a bulk truck that comes down later on Saturday and picks that stuff up. But what these vultures, this woman is driving up and down the street writing tickets to things that, that uh, that's clearly not a violation, right? And she knows it. She jumped out of the, she, when she saw me, she, she, she jumped back in the car and ran away, right? So that's a, so what is the crime, right? It says right on the ticket, that was, it. She, she committed a misdemeanor. It says right on the ticket. It says, and I'll read. I, an employee of the below agency, personally observed the commission of the civil violation charged above. What is the violation charged above? Loose rubbish. 
false statements made hereon are punishable as a Class A misdemeanor pursuant to Section 210.45 of the Penal Law, affirmed under penalty of perjury. Pow, perjury. She perjured herself, right? Now, well, would there, was there going to be any consequence to the perjury? She, that, you know, that's, that's what it is, right? She, she lied on, right? So, so this is, again, this is, again, now, the, the Department of Sanitation is going to analyze this video, right? Right? So, Mr. Burke, look, here's your agents, jerk off, looking, here you, this is, this is the result of what you did. What I should have asked her and 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 I and I missed the opportunities. I should have screamed in her face and said, "How many tickets did you write? You write ten tickets yet? Where's your, how many tickets you got?" That's what I should have done, right? But I'm a gentleman, and I'm not going to humiliate the woman standing on the street because she's under pressure by you and and Commissioner Garcia. I know you guys are going to have to watch this. You know, that's this is what you, this is what you're doing to the people. You're turning people into ATM machines. You're putting people like Miss Long in jeopardy. Now she's facing a misdemeanor charge. It's on. It's on. It's indisputable. Where's the con? Where is the where? Where is the outrage now? Right? Where is even if you can even if she's going to say that because I know what you'll say. Oh well, somebody moved the stuff that she saw. No. No, I'm an eyewitness. I'm a you. You want you want to test? You want an eyewitness uh, to to come in court and say what he saw? I'll say it. I'm there. I'm your eyewitness. I got a camera. I videoed it. Right. So it's clear that right that 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 building got targeted, and that woman jumped out of the car and wrote a fake ticket, not a fake ticket, but falsified the details on that ticket to get her ass out the out, out the way. She she said, oh, "I went around the corner because the air conditioner didn't work." That's bullshit. That's total bullshit, right? That's the rules are if you if you're too hot, take the day off, right? Don't go out writing fake tickets. Right? So there's a lot there. So uh, my name is Marcus Conti. I'm a uh, not only an investigative journalist, but I am a former sanitation enforcement agent. I am probably one of the 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 best people in the city right now to call this what it is, which is falsifying a ticket under pressure. Because of a quota that if she doesn't go back to that office with a certain number of tickets, she's going to get scorned. She probably already is. That's why they gave it a car without the air conditioner. <laughs> the punishment. <laughs> They'll punish you, right? So I'm also a candidate for the United States Senate. Peace.